am here to remind you to be happy. And you know, a way to be happy is to do DIYs at home. At least that's what helps me. I love crafting. And today, it's even more inspirational, make you happier. Um, you see my cats, I've got my cats and my dogs. That's what my life is these days. This reminds me to stay happy every single day. But if you go next to that, I'm gonna make these signs. This says Hakuna Matata from my favorite movie, The Lion King. Um, so much so that I named one of my little kitties Simba. This is Eros, Simba didn't wanna play. No, you like it? The best part about this is that you can do this with stuff you already have at home because all you need is a spray bottle, a Ziploc bag or just a plastic bag, and markers. Ah, that's it. He's gonna have to go soon because this is a paper cutter. You taking that with you? <laughs> all right, but that's enough. All right, there you go, thank you. Okay, Ooh, that was mad. To start with, you need the right kind of markers. You want water-based markers, not oil-based. That will not work, not permanent, that won't work either. So a kind of a pro tip of how to find if it's water-based, look on the back of the box or if it's paint, look at the back of the container and look for the care or wash instructions. If it says wash with warm water and soap, you're good. If it says use mineral spirits or alcohol or turpentine, that's not what you want. That means it is not coming off unless you use that stuff. So we want water-based because this is going to be kind of a watercolor picture. Now these are really, really in right now, these, this kind of design, and they're actually really expensive. But check these out. You can print out anything that you would like. This one says good vibes only, very important. It's the little things that matter most. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Anything that inspires you. So you can do this on a kitchen counter because it's not gonna stain, but since I'm on a wood table, I am gonna use some parchment paper to put down. I am going to end up putting these in frames. You can leave them non-framed like this and you can leave them eight and a half by 11. But if you wanna make it an eight by 10, what you do, take a paper cutter or scissors and just cut it to size for an eight by 10 frame. Now we've got a perfect eight by 10 that will fit in any eight by 10 frame. Put the Ziploc bag down on top of it, like that. Take the colors that you would like. I'm gonna do green, purple, and blue. So then all you do is <laughs> go ahead and draw on the plastic bag with your markers. You can do them. You don't need to overlap. You can be really messy. You can see how fast I'm going. It's like, it's really easy. <laughs> And you know, the cats in the background, that's just for fun. Okay, so once you have it marked with your markers, you're gonna wanna take a spray bottle and be pretty liberal with this. This is just water. We're gonna put a little spray all over it. You can see it kind of like breaks it up a little bit. And then you flip it over, but I'm actually gonna take the bottom and do this first before I flip it. Flip it over and then all you do is press it and all the colors kind of go together. All right, then you remove this. Remove that, set it aside. Take, you can take paper towel or just little tissue and start to dab where it got a little too wet. But look at that, doesn't it look like I was doing a little watercolor? Then take paper towel to your Ziploc bag because guess what, we can reuse. So I'm gonna set this aside. I really like when they have borders. So I love this Hakuna Matata that it has a border. So we're gonna add a border to this with a Sharpie, but I'm gonna let this dry first. So I'm gonna set this below. Oh, Simba, Sim, I was just talking about you. Sim, this is really not a great angle for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a different color palette here, do the same exact thing, including the same bag. Put that over and this one i kind of want it to be bright and shiny and then again all you do is draw well i'm being liberal with the term draw i feel like when we were in school this is what they told you not to do not to scribble and go out of the lines but for our purposes it absolutely works i could just turn it over there we go Put it in there, just blot it a little bit. And there you have it, good vibes. I absolutely love this and look how easy that was to do. So I'm gonna add a border to this one. It's almost dry 
And the important part about this is that you don't want to use a water-based marker when you're going over this because it'll just bleed. So what you want to do is take a Sharpie or permanent marker and then mark where you want it. I think I'm going to go an inch in all the way around. There we go. So you can leave these as is, just like this, or you can do what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them in the frame and you can see here how wonderful and beautiful this is. It's inspiring. Just in case you're having a down day, you look at these and all your troubles go away. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you loved this DIY as much as I did and I'll see you soon.